Good morning. I hope you enjoyed your stay. Thanks. Zelda. Where's my Zelda? Hello, Zelda. Hope you're doing okay. I don't think I'll be riding you anytime soon anywhere, honestly, Zelda. Right now, I'm going to do as many side quests as possible. And hope that we can get some done. Let's see. Shrine quest. Secret of the Snowy Peaks. <laughs> Cast a cold shadow onto its core when the snowy mountain pedestal glows. I don't know what this means. When the snowy mountain pedestal glows, like, I mean, that could be. Anytime at night, like I guess I could go there and then fucking stand around there at nights and shit and see what happens. Cast a cold shadow onto his core. Like, what does that part mean? Like, I don't know what that means. Cast a cold shadow onto his core. Like, does that mean just like stand in the middle of it or something? Like, I don't know. Cursed statue. When the dark light resides in the cursed statue's eyes, pierces gaze to purge the seal on the shrine. I really don't know what that one is. The pride of the Rito, put in the sky, its heart lights up when the sun is high. The, sh the heart shines upon a path and a hole, but a warm flame can stir soul. Lavruta taught you the Zoro song as champion ceremony. I get this guy, a scale of light, splits the feet at the veiled false sight. Your child awaits, it's glowing bright. Joel accidentally dread the ceremony trying to use a champion ceremony off the bridge. If you find the spirit and recreate the actions of the song, a new trial may open. We're gonna try this, because this is the only one I feel like I can do. Because I I don't know. I literally don't know. Fucking, um, <sighs> I don't know. All right, let's warp over to here. They say that he dropped this trident, um, down the river. I don't know why he can't get it if he's a Zora, but whatever. We're gonna try to do this. If he can do this tonight, I'll be happy. Then we at 110 shrines. I think there'll be only 10 left. Which I think will be okay if I use the guide to find. You know, like these other shrine quests, I have no idea what to do with them. And then the other ones, hold on, what are the other ones I gotta do? The shrine quest and then. Shrine quest and then side quest. I don't know if these are also side quests. I know I gotta find other shrines. But these are gonna have. Alright, so after this one, there'll be 110. Then there'll be. Um, like seven left? No, no, uh, ten left after this one. There'll be ten left after this one? Hold on, I, well, I don't think I could see how many shrines I've done. No. Well, after this one, if I do it properly, it'll be one ten, then that'll be ten left. But there's three of these that I need to do, which will be to have seven, but there's still ten that I haven't done yet. Which is crazy. This guy likes luminous stones. So let's see if I can give him a luminous stone. Oh. Um, how many luminous stones do I have? I have twenty. All right, cool. Now, are we headed to Veil Falls? Yep. 
because he said that the trident is where? He dropped it off the bridge. So I don't know where that is, but it could be anywhere. What I'm going to try to do is get as close to Veiled Falls as possible and work my way around that area. Because the trident is off the bridge and it can be anywhere. I don't know where exactly, but it's not here. So... So this is Veiled Frawls. <clears throat> All right, there's a shrine pedestal. That's cool. All right. So, now we need to find this bridge, or whatever, and like, I guess, follow the river, because I mean, where else could it be? <laughs> if it fell off this bridge, then... There's only really one other place for it to be. Oh, a treasure chest. Cool. I don't think I need it, though. Alright, Great Zor Bridge. He said he dropped it off here, so let's try to find it. Let's try to find it, alright. I was surprised when I found that one Zora lady who got swept away in the storm or whatever. And fucking, I was like, dang, I, you, you were way farther than I originally thought you were. You were like, you were off the ball far. <laughs> And she's like, oh, I was just fishing. I was like, your husband is worried sick about you. He's like, oh my god. Bobby. He's like, yeah, Linda. He's like, go to your husband. <laughs> and your kids. Fishing fool. Alright, um. So I'm basically going to follow this bridge. And I'm going to use my magnesis or whatever it's called. to, um, hopefully find it. <laughs> You're fine, man. I'm gonna find it. Wait, this is not the right bridge. Zora's Domain is massive in this game, so I'd be getting lost and shit. Like, when I first got here, I literally didn't know where to start fucking exploring. Oh, that side on? Hmm. If you ever find yourself in this part of the world again, I implore you to come visit us. We are always here for you. Oh, and I have met- and have I mentioned how incredible you are? And how thankful I am? Because you are, and I am. Yes, you are the greatest of Hylians, the most treasured friend of all time. Why, thank you. Alright. So this is the right way to go? Yes. Alright, so... It's off the bridge somewhere. I don't know if... It's close, or far, or where, but... I'm basically just going to use Magnesis to try to find it, because it has to be metal. It would be ridiculous if it wasn't made out of metal. And hopefully my Magnesis can kind of find it. Or point it out for me all the way from up here. 
Because this thing is probably pretty far from where we are. And I really don't want to use a guide in order to find it. So I'm literally looking for anything that's glowing yellow in the river. This is Rudo Lake. What, what are the odds of being all the way like down here? Like certainly it has to be like around here, right? Like come on. Let's be real. Let's try to find it over here. Is that a Karasi spot? Let's find Karasi spots. arrows. I'll gladly always take ice arrows because those are extremely rare in this game. Not for no reason, but definitely for a weird reason. You know? Like, would it be any farther down the river? Like, why wouldn't it? Be, why wouldn't it be in a lake? You know? Like, why would it be like anywhere way the fuck out and shit? Like, I mean, even that doesn't make sense. Like, come on, let's be let's be realistic here. I'm finding a lot of treasure chests and stuff. Another frantic bow. Is this one I'm holding still about to break? Like, you know what I mean? Like, how far... I mean, like... It, there's, there's two options. It can be either kind of close or extremely far away. And I'm like, how far would the developers make this thing go? You know what I'm talking about? Like, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, how far are the developers willing to make this thing go? You know? We're literally at a lake where the water is at mostly still right now. You know? I mean, sure, it can keep going, but come on. This is a great place for it to stop. <laughs> But since he dropped it off at this bridge, I mean, God, he told me he got swept up all the way the heck over here, dude. Sheesh. All right, well, I'm not really finding it, so let's keep going.
right, so I kind of need to go, yeah, I need to keep climbing up this way and get closer to the river. I could cross this bridge, I guess. Just to maybe see if it's around here somewhere. I don't know. This area, I like it, but it was really stressful getting through it because fucking... The constant rain, like it is now, honestly. The constant rain was not a fun time. How far am I from where we started? Uh, I, just, I technically missed Ludo's Crossing, but I feel like I kind of was around there already because I've fucking been over there, so. Alright. Let's, uh. Continue checking the river. What was that? Turn around real quick, make sure I check this way. See another treasure chest right over there. Like, I don't know if it'll be inside of a treasure chest or just like an, like an item. Like, like, I'm pretty sure the item that I, that the, the hero weapon from Mifa is the trident, I, I think. I don't know. But this one is ceremonial and not like a battle weapon or something. I'm not entirely sure. So I'm not sure if it's gonna be a you know, treasure chest and like, oh yeah, this treasure chest is special, so I think I'll be found it, but Okay. So I already been this way. No, well not I haven't seen everything in this river, but what are the odds of it being in that little fucking slim? What are the odds of being in that little fucking slim, huh? I just wish it wasn't fucking raining, then at least I could be able to climb the mountains and shit. But, of course, it's always gonna be raining here. What was that giant fucking splash? Sounds like someone splashed out of the water to attack me. No. I'm definitely not concerned because all it would have been was a Lizofo anyways, because there are no other sea creatures in Zelda Breath of the Wild apparently. Like, you know, you think that it will stop right here because of this fucking barrier. I remember this fucking barrier. This barrier got in the way of the uh, Zora mission, or the Zora girl mission. So you would think it would stop right there because there's a fucking barrier right there, but I'm not sure.
fast ass frog. <sighs> Alright, well, let's keep fucking looking. I don't know if I passed it already, but. Alright, um... Alright, let's see how much more of the river we got. I mean, we got a no-go bridge, we got basically all the way till here and shit. You know, I mean, if this is where it stops, that makes the most sense. Because I think this is where... I don't even think this is where that, 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 that Zora lady ended up. She ended up like... She ended up like far. I think she ended up like... Yeah, she ended up like here. She, I think she actually ended up in Nikalia, actually, now I think about it. But I don't think the Zor thing will be all in Nikalia. I really hope it wouldn't be, because that would be mad. That would be crazy. Especially since I kind of did check Nikalia. Like, I remember checking Nikalia for, like, treasures and shit, and obviously that wasn't fucking there. Uh, why is this still fucking raining? God, I hate the rain mechanic in this game. It happens way too often. Like, God knows it doesn't rain this often in real life and shit. <laughs> this is a fucking hurricane or a fucking storm. It does not rain this often in real life, dude. <laughs> that, that, that's what really fucking boggles me and shit. It's just always raining this game. Sorry guys, it's been raining more than it's been sunny in this fucking game. And I've been playing it. Okay, so I'm not seeing anything metallic or magnetizable in this portion of the river. We're now at Inogo Bridge. Still trying to find... This thing. 
Dude, I was gonna leave you alone and only fight this fucking jackass. What are you doing? Your attack didn't even hurt me. Dumb sword. If I go through this whole river and I don't find this spear by myself, I'm just gonna look it up. I've already decided. If I, if I don't find, if I go through this whole river and I don't find the spear by myself, I'm, or let's try it by myself, I'm just gonna look it up. Cause now we're close to the part with the fucking boy and the girl. And do I need to look at all the neighborhood wetlands for this shit, dude? Like I really don't want to. Let's check out this part first. Like, are they gonna make me really check all of the Nehru wetlands for this thing? Like, won't that just be ridiculous? It's not even a fun area to really be around. Like, the Nehru wetlands isn't even somewhere I wanna, like, be on a regular basis. It's just a bunch of little foes in water.
Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's either in the Lanao Wetlands or it's closer to Sora's Domain. I really don't want to check with the Lanao Wetlands. I'm already almost at my damn horse. So, what I'm gonna do is this tower and pause this recording. <sighs> it's almost stupid how dumb this quest is. All right, um. I need to go back to my house. This, this mission is another example of dumb NPCs making dumb stories, because this dumb NPC dropped this trident down the river, so the ceremony or whatever can't continue or be, can't, be, ha can't happen, and then there's an NPC in the same town who can literally forge him what he needs. And it only because a few materials to do it. And because of this dumb NPC, there has to be a whole side quest about it. It's basically what I'm gathering. So, because this dumb NPC dropped the trident down the river and didn't have two artificial intelligently created brain cells to fucking ask another NPC in the same fucking domain that he lives in to make another trident, I had to do a side quest. That's basically how this side quest was birthed.
That's like wondering what you, what to eat for breakfast when you have an entire house and pantry full of food to eat. Whether it be breakfast or anything else. What am I going to have for breakfast? I can have cereal, toast, eggs, waffles, pancakes, pop-tarts, toasted strudel, anything. Yo, entire house full of it, and yet... You just can't think of what to eat for breakfast. That's exactly what this side quest does. You dropped your fucking trident or whatever down the river. And I had to fucking do a side quest for you. Because you didn't have the two brain cells required to ask the trident fucking builder to make another trident for you. That's what I'm gathering from this. So I wasted 30 minutes looking up and down the river for this fucking item that didn't exist. And I knew I had this trident, I just didn't know it was this trident specific. Because like I said before, I didn't know if this was a weapon or something that you that they use as a ceremony. I was entirely sure. Ugh, I don't care, dude. Now I have three more of these fucking shrine quests to do, and I have no idea how to do them. But I'll probably be using the guide for them, because I'm kind of over now. I'm at 10-10, which means there's 10 more shrines left. I literally did about fucking 105 of them without the guide. So, from this point forward, it's guide time. But we're going to continue this game some more tomorrow. Um, because it's kind of late and I want to have some dinner. Actually, yeah, um, I'm going to end, what, what time is it? It's 12. I should be playing Splatoon right now. I'm going to play a little bit of Splatoon. I'll make a little bit of Splatoon content and then, um, I'm going to have dinner. So I'll probably make a, like, maybe a 30 minute video for Splatoon. And then I'll, um, call the stream. But yeah, we're done with Zelda content for today. I think we did enough. We, we found a lot of things we explored and we found some shit, so I'm happy for that. Um, it was mostly Korok seeds, honestly, that we found, but fuck it. Nothing wrong getting as many Korok seeds as you can within, like, the first playthrough of this game. Cause I'm gonna try to get all 999 of them and shit. I don't care to. But we did find a lot of them, that's what kinda matters the most to me. So, with that, I don't think we're gonna do anything else in this game. I don't think we're doing anything else in this game. Um, so do I need to cook anything? I didn't use a lot of food today. No, I didn't use a lot of food today. This is good. Um, I'll do, I'll mess with the Zor, the Gruuli tomorrow. And yeah, we'll continue. We're gonna bust open the guide, and we're gonna do shit tomorrow. I'm gonna work my house. Actually, no, I wanna fucking talk to this damn side quest guy. Where is this fucking dude? God, this is such a hard area to traverse. It's, it's a giant circle that's not connected to the rest of the fucking... the town, and then... the town itself is hard to find people in. It's fucking massive. I mean, there's always massive in this one. It's bigger than Goron City. <laughs> Which is not weird, but it's like crazy. It's like, how is that possible? Why does Zoros mean so much bigger than Guan City? You think Guan City would also be pretty sizable since it's on top of it's on top of a mountain and also built into the same mountain. <laughs> you don't need to keep telling me that. Where do I tell this guy that I did his job for him?
Well, we've handled it. This is the inn. Oh, no, this is the business. You guys don't have anything I want, do you? You guys, bows and shit. I'll buy our bows. I want to sleep on their water bed. The roof's protection is now ready to roll. It's so hard to traverse doors to me. <laughs> Alright, Zoras, I'll catch you all later. I don't know when the next time I'll be out here, but I'll catch you guys later. Alright, well. Let's go back to Pura, save and call it there, and then, um, like I said, we're going to continue this game some more tomorrow. Tomorrow, like I said, I have an Animal Crossing video to record, then we'll, then we'll, make, then we'll play more of this. We're going to do more side questing and shit like that. I'm probably going to pop up with the guy tomorrow, because I'm done kind of trying to figure it out myself. We hit 10, 10 shrines and 387 seeds. is that what that said? Is that what that said? So, I think we uh, did a lot on our own. So, we're going to bust open the guide so that tomorrow we can do all the side quests as I can to the best of my ability. Actually, I don't want this on my person right now. I need to warp over here and put this back in my house. Because I don't want to carry this around with me. I don't want to carry the, the um, trident around with me. I think this is the original trade I was given. I don't mind to break and have to make another. Unlike the Zora NPC who didn't do that same exact thing. I still haven't found this Garning Bolson. That's like gonna be like the first thing I do tomorrow. I still haven't found this Goron named Bolson. Alright, but yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do all the side quests tomorrow. I'm gonna bust open the guide. We're gonna look at all the side quests and stuff, and then I'm gonna beat this game next time I do a session for it. Cause I'm basically done. I explored everywhere on the map. Now I just gotta do all the side quests and shrine quests and all that shit. And then at that point, I'm good. Which is good, cause I want to beat this game as soon as possible, especially within this month. So that's what we're gonna do. But so we're gonna bop, we're gonna pop open the, the guide tomorrow. And we're gonna um we're gonna um do everything we can and stuff. The only actual areas I need to explore is Central High Roll, which I'm pretty sure is full of guardians and then Carol Castle. But yeah, aside from that, we all the green slides were it was where I've been, so I definitely been everywhere. And I'm happy to say that I finally did that, so good. Alright, with that being said though, we're gonna call the Zelda content now. I'll play some more tomorrow. We're gonna do like I said, we're gonna do side questing. We're gonna do all the side quests as, as we can, 
you know the shrine quest I'm probably gonna try to find where that other memory is so I gotta do these three these three um I got one more memory to do because I'm pretty sure the second one is in Hyrule Castle. I should want to kind of try to find it. Um, I got to talk to Impa now that we've done that. And then Champion's Ballad. I don't know if this is, you said because you tamed all the four divines, you can lock a more powerful force within with them. I, we'll do this before we fight, before we fight game. I want to do all the EX shit too. So we just got to do all this shit too. We're going to do it all tomorrow. We're going to do as much as possible tomorrow. So yeah, hope you guys are excited for the side questing, because I kind of am as well, especially to pop up in the guide, see what the guide says and what it's like, and learn any information that I don't already know. So I hope you guys are ready for that as well. So I hope you guys join me for that. Alright, with that being said though, we're going to end the Zelda content right there.